Hi guys, on this video I am going to show you how to grow an orchid organically at home. So let's go. So as I am going to pot this orchid, I thought I will give you some tips also of how to grow your orchid and be successful with it. So I am going to pot and I like to show you the pot on a close up. This is a pot that is sold in uh, the horticultural centers. It is a special pot to grow orchids. So check out. It has a lot of holes at the bottom and there are holes at the sides as well because uh, the orchid needs a lot of aeration and uh, since we are not going to use uh, soil we need to get a lot of sunlight and we got a lot of oxygen to the roots yeah that's important so that's why we use this sort of a pot now I'm going to place tile pieces of broken pot my old pots, I just keep them and I am placing these tiles in so my growing medium does not flow through the bottom and I am going to place it very carelessly, it's just that yeah. So I've got them all in. I'm using uh, big stones. Now this you can pick up on the road wherever they are doing, laying the roads. You get the sort of a granite. So I'm placing that down. And I'm using uh, pieces of coal. Yeah. That goes right at the bottom. And I've got some bark here with uh, brick as well with brick also right so this is the plant that went dormant for quite some time and I have energized it with a lot of fertilizers so this is going in here okay now these roots have stuck on to this sort of a stone so I'm going to put it in with the stone. Okay, I think I need to build that up some more. So while I do that, I just like to tell you that uh, orchids being, uh, being tropical plants, I take advantage of growing them throughout the year because uh, I live in Chennai and uh, I'm just so happy that I'm here in the tropics so I can grow these beautiful plants. Even if they don't bloom, their, their foliage is really good. It looks strong, healthy and a very bright green. So I'm going to put in some bark, tree bark. It's okay if it sticks out of your pot, right? That goes in there and I have to build up the center. Okay. So just to have a look of how it's going to be placed, I think I can remove this and put this down here so that it settles in. But the plant is not stable, so I think it has to go in a bit deeper. The stability of the plant is very, very important, so it's okay if you spend a little more time on potting your plant. Okay that looks cool so after you after you finish your potting I think it's a it's a major decision you have to make when uh, where to place your orchid I think that's very important now this brick has settled in very well there it's okay if it is on top of the plant yeah somewhere to the side so it gives it a good stability so where would I place this orchid? Yeah, you can place it on your balcony or your windows which are north facing or east facing. So it gets a little bit of sunlight. And they do very well in indirect sunlight. So uh, take care, though they love the sunshine which is uh, the natural way but in Chennai we have very cruel uh, afternoons. 
and our summers are really, really bad. So my orchids uh, are east facing. They get a little bit of the morning sun every day and I don't move them around. I just keep them there and they are close uh, to the windows. So they get the uh, sunshine the whole day, you know, they get light the whole day. So let's get on with this now. I need to pack this in. Can you see these roots? Yeah, these are very healthy roots. They are new roots and they love stones. So I'm putting the stone in here so that they sort of uh, continue growing on the stone. And another one on the top there. But I wouldn't want to hurt those roots. So just lift them up a bit. Oh, beautiful. They are sit That's right. They are sitting well now. Right? So that's firm. This root is dead. So I'm going to remove the dead roots. That root is dead. There's no point in keeping dead roots. That's a dry leaf. I'm going to leave in there. All that adds to the natural manure. And uh, I'm now going to add a little bit of uh, coco peat. Or you can add uh, coconut fiber. Yeah, coconut fiber is also good. Uh, this cocoa peat, I'm adding cocoa peat just to uh, retain moisture as a growing medium. And uh, Later you can add some vermi compost. That is the fertilizer I use. One of the fertilizers. Guys, I've got a very important point which I'm going to uh, discuss with you at the end of my video, so stick around. Uh, talking about uh, watering, I think uh, that's as important. So I drench my uh, growing medium once a week and I just miss them every other day, that's uh, in winter. But summer, during summer, I miss them every day. And uh, I just uh, soak this whole pot in a bucket of water once a week. That's I do th just that overnight and uh, they are ready to go. You must always check the quality of the plant. When you have your leaf really green, you know that the plant is doing well. Now, this was a dormant uh, plant. As you see, these were all really dry, and uh, and I just I, I just let them be, and I've fertilized them. That's what I'm going to tell you at the end of the video. How I got this back to life, right? And now you can see there are fresh roots, the other side which I've just covered, and there's a fresh shoot as well. There's another shoot right down there which I really can't uh, show you. I think it's deep down there. But now I know that this plant is on the road, back on the road, and uh, I'm going to get a bloom maybe in another two months or maybe even a month. So now uh, when I uh, snip this off, this plant is not going to have any uh, bloom on it. And these leaves may dry down and become like this. Now this is when I fertilize them to get another bloom. You must know when to fertilize your orchid and uh, to restart them. Now this whole thing has to be restarted and to punch in the, the, the right ingredient, that's what I'm going to tell you soon. So this looks stable enough, but I'm just going to cover the surface because it's all exposed a bit. So maybe a stone here, yeah, so that I get some more roots on this side. And I'm going to put some bark. It's a good ground cover as well, so that the moisture stays and uh, does not evaporate soon. Yeah, this looks good here. No, I'll just place it there. Right, that's cold and it's light. And I think I'm done. And now I'm going to mist the plant.
So that's my plant listed and it's looking really, really wet and really good. So I will be soaking this in water maybe after 10 days because I've really gotten down the moisture right to the root. And uh, I'm going to place this in my bathroom because uh, bathroom is one of the uh, places where you get a lot of humidity. So I'm going to place this on my bathroom window, which is one of my favorite places for all my orchids. Some of them are tied onto trees, but uh, the ones that bloom really well are the ones in the bathroom. So, and now to get to the most important point, which I was talking about is how I restarted this dormant orchid. Yeah, you have to remove it from the pot and then repot it. And when you are, you add to your cocoa peat the most important thing, which is really organic, which is uh, coffee ground. I mix the coffee ground with the cocoa peat and I put it in between. So it gets to the root immediately. Uh, that's when it energizes the root, it wakes up the plant and it just restarts the whole process. And look at it, it's really cool. It really looks green and fresh. And in as I told you earlier on my, in my video, in about a month or maybe 45 days, I'm gonna have a sprung of, uh, of color on this. And this is a greenish yellow. So it's gonna look really beautiful. And I'm sure in two months I'll have another video coming up showing you the bloom from this very pot. I'm really happy the way it looks and uh, I'm happy that you followed me on this video and you will be starting up a beautiful garden with orchids and maybe more. So I'll see you soon and uh, on my next video I'm going to show you lots more on succulents and uh, cacti and indoor plants and whatever. So please stay with me and subscribe. Thank you.